Hello, this is David Hale. Welcome to Taking a Tech Dive here on Tech Dive TV. Now, in Taking a Tech Dive, we always dive into certain technology. Well, today, we're going to dive into a technology that maybe shouldn't really exist. We're not really sure. Sometimes technology offers up answers to questions that we didn't ask. Uh, for instance, the netbook, really good for, at first, but we realized over time that they're pretty useless after a while. They slow down, they're no good. Uh, the Apple Newton, not a real success. However, it was ahead of its time, but at the time it wasn't doing what people wanted it to do. And what we're really going to cover though today is an answer to a problem that may be just causing more problems. E-cigarettes. Yeah, you're trying to quit smoking and instead of using a patch or just quitting cold turkey or going to some smoking cessation clinic, you choose to use the e-cigarette. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with e-cigarettes, they're an electronic cigarette that has inside it a liquid that is infused with nicotine. Now, the e-cigarette heats up this liquid and creates a vapor that people can uh, inhale into their lungs, and then when they exhale, a vapor comes out, not smoke. So in many cases, people can use these devices in restaurants and bars where they can't normally smoke, inside office buildings where they can't normally smoke, because they're not really smoking. They're just releasing a vapor, a nicotine-laced vapor, but nevertheless. But there's not been any long-term health studies on these e-cigarettes, so we don't know if there's any uh, health risks that will come up later on for people who use them. Uh, think about it. You're putting something into your body that wouldn't naturally be there, so chances are it's not good for you. Like taking medicines that aren't good for you or smoking, smoking cigarettes. So it doesn't really uh, eliminate the addiction to nicotine, which is one of the reasons you'd want to quit smoking. Uh, and they're saying that it doesn't have all that tar, so it's better for your lungs. Well, it doesn't have the tar, absolutely correct. But it may not be better for your lungs. It may not have any problems with your lungs. But my assumption is if you're introducing something into your lungs that shouldn't normally be there, it's probably going to have a problem with your health. So uh, below this video is an article from USA Today about the safety of e-cigarettes and how the FDA is trying to handle it. The city of Philadelphia has just passed a ban on e-cigarettes in restaurant bars and where you can't smoke regular cigarettes, you won't be able to smoke e-cigarettes. And that actually takes effect in July of 2014. So if you're trying to quit smoking, try to quit smoking instead of trying to use e-cigarettes. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.